Sir John Golding. Born in London, England on April 15, 1921, Sir John Simon Rawson Golding was a man who passionately served the disabled in Jamaica. He treated not only broken bones but broken hearts and spirits and treated everyone with importance to raise their self-esteem. He pursued medicine at Middlesex Hospital in London and qualified as a medical doctor in 1944. Although his career was going remarkably well, Sir John ventured to Jamaica, just hoping for a change. He became a senior lecturer at the University College of the West Indies, where he also specialized in medical ethics and established the School of Physical Therapy. During his first six months on the island, there was a polio epidemic that left about 1,500 persons severely paralyzed. Sir John established a polio rehabilitation center his mission was to rehabilitate persons back into a meaningful role into the society. He was one of the very few people in Jamaica who had any experience at all of working with polio. Because we'd never had an outbreak here. He also opened a hospice for the terminally ill where they would be taken care of free of charge. Somehow or other, he derived great um, fulfillment, probably would be a good word, from that work. It was a place where people could come to and be dealt with and then leave. It wasn't residential, but he used to go to the homes of people to see them. For his outstanding work in polio rehabilitation and tropical orthopedics, he was appointed commander of the Order of the British Empire in 1959. One of Sir John's other accomplishments was the creation of the Polio Games in 1966 for polio patients. This eventually led to the establishment of the Special Olympics. For his unselfish, lifelong service to society and humanity, he was awarded the Order of Jamaica in 1974. In 1984, he was awarded the LLD Honoris Causa from the University of Toronto, Canada. In 1986, he was knighted by Her Majesty the Queen of England.